What's up, YouTube? You watching Reason Gang TV? And we got a special treat for you today. We're gonna show you how to sample in the Glacius X Hybrid Wave Synthesizer. Now, there's two ways to do it. An advanced way and a complex, slightly better way, easier. But anyway, let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna show you the, the quick way how to sample into a Glacius, the real easy way. Um, let me make a Glacius from scratch so I can show you. This is the simple way. Um, we'll go ahead and get rid of that and we'll go to the sampler. Okay, so let's say you like the sound star power from the, uh, where is that? That's in, that's in the Europa Obsidian Refill by DNA Labs. So say you like this sound. Pretty crispy. All right, simply just, let me delete this. Simply just record the middle C, which is, I'll show you. I, I recorded it already, but uh, it's just this key right here, middle C. So you'll go ahead and press, for a bell it'd be short, for a lead you might want to get like eight bars, but this is a bell so it's short. Put the R where you expect it to end, I'd say, yeah, three is pretty good, that's where it's going to end. And you go ahead and once you have your middle C, which is C3, you export that and you call it whatever, bell C3. Um, let's put it on the desktop. Now, where's our bell C3? I know it, I know it's over here somewhere. Oh, there it goes. All right, so you go to your Glacius, you're in the sampler page, you just drop that right in. Add a little reverb or delay, juice it up, give a little volume. All right, let's see what it sounds like. Sounds actually pretty good. All right. So that's how you would sample the really easy way. You just slap it in there at C3 and it automatically key maps it for you. As long as you're in C3, you'll have the whole keyboard ready. Now, in the sense of doing it more complex, let's mute that, or let's just get rid of that. I, uh, you would basically do eight samples, right? You could do 16 if you want it super, super high quality. That's, um, that's basically two samples per octave in the 88 key. But uh, we're doing one sample per octave for the sake of... Uh, understanding the the concept of key mapping and sampling so you would basically instead of just doing c3 you'd start Z, c0 like this you'd go here you'd bring your your key down here you'd export it export your loop and you'd call it c0 or bell c0 in this case i did it already for us so we didn't waste too much time they're all right here that's the simple one but here it would be one, two, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven at the bottom. Okay, so once you do that, that's your sampling part. You got seven, uh, you got eight samples, basically one per octave. So in that case, you would plug these ranges in. C7, all right, since you're putting the, you would drop C7 right here in there. You could drop it directly right in this area and it'll go right here. But uh, it would go, it would automatically go C3. So. You drop your C6 on the next one and so forth. You do all of these 
C0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I did that already. And let me show you. These would be on C3, or like over here, as soon as you drop it in. But you just drag it upwards until you reach C0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, I realize this sounds a little reverse because it's not the key you're putting it. You're putting it the offset away from C. So the, your C7 goes here and your, you would put the offset at C0. Now, your key range, since you want it to be on the octave of C7 all the way up to the end of the, the keyboard, you put C7 to G8, which is the end of the keyboard. Slot two, you drag your C6 into there, and um, you would plug in C6 to B6. Because why B6? Because that's the key right under C7. And same here, C5, B5, which right under there. C4, B4, C, C3, B3, C2, B2, C1, B1, C0, B0. Now, once you got all that done, you have a high quality version of that sample. And this is, I believe I sampled something else from the Europa, but this is a more high quality version of the simple way to do it. So there you go. And then you would just save it wherever you wanted it since it says self-contained uh say if you were to edit your sounds any uh see like i like to go in here and edit them i like normalizing them or looping them if i had to if it was like a lead but a bell you don't really loop but i, I do normalize them and bring them up so after you do all that you basically um you try to save it and it'll say this so if you ever come across this, you go here, song self-contained settings, you uncheck whatever you want to actually save, and then you press OK, and it'll go ahead and save those wherever uh, it, it'll ask you where to save them. And you save them in the case of making like a commercial sample or a commercial refill with samples, you'd save it in your folder called samples, and then you'd have another folder called Glacius Patches. And you'd go ahead and save that as the refill. And that way the refill can go ahead and know where to get those samples at. But yeah, I hope this wasn't too complex. But the easy way, the other way is real easy. Um, you just sample and sample C3 and drop it in there. But uh, if you want to get into the commercial sampling, you're going to go. Ha you're gonna have to learn how to normalize and key map a bit more. And I hope this video showed you exactly how you do that. Uh, thanks again for watching guys, see you later reason gang.